Hey, what's up guys? Tanumi Minotaur here, and yes, this is gonna be another one of those fun videos here. And that is, I'm gonna be talking about Fortnite cosmetics, more or less exclusive cosmetics that should have never been exclusive. There's a lot of cosmetics that we get which are exclusive cosmetics. Today, I'm gonna be talking about a few of them and really trying to explain as of why these cosmetics should have never been exclusive to begin with. I will not be counting any in-game cosmetics, by the way, that you can get. So challenge cosmetics, limited time cosmetics, from the item shop and also battle pass will not be mentioned in this video also if you're wanting me to do a video talking about the best cosmetics or the worst cosmetics which are exclusive let me know by dropping a like or telling me down below in the comment section if you're interested in those videos happening in the near future so without further ado let's hop into this video with the very first exclusive and this is one that i really don't like as it's not a great one and that is surf strider this skin was actually released on november 30th of 2020 and the way you got the skin was by owning an intel cpu we got a code for this skin if you did have one of those and it was available for a good while and it was released back in chapter 2 season 4 so it was released during a very popular season also there was a second way to actually get this skin and that was by going to level 16 within the intel gaming access season 2 play pass same exact thing you got a code for the skin pickaxe and a glider and my goodness i don't even think this is a good skin like does this scream exclusive to you all because this skin just looks so basic and so bland that it makes bad cosmetics which are exclusive look great this should have just been like one of those v-buck packs and considering that this is like one of the only few pc exclusive skins that we got in the entire game like you know what the last one was stealth reflex like that was like ugh, that skin's way better than this one that's really sad to say not much else to say surf strider while i do like the color scheme of this skin it's just so basic so bland it's not worth even trying to get the skin if they do even decide to ever bring it back it's not a good skin at all and it should have just been one of those i am shop skins or it should have just been one of those v buck quest pack skins in my opinion the next cosmetic here is actually one that was originally going to be an i am shop cosmetic which by the way is going to be a trend throughout this video here there's many cosmetics that were originally going to be i am shop cosmetics that turned into exclusives and this one's no exception here the plasma carrot this pickaxe was actually added all the way back in chapter one season eight with the gemini skin and for those who don't know what happened with the gemini skin it was a huge situation i actually made a video about it a long time ago if you want to go check it out top right hand corner for those who want to go check out the whole situation this pickaxe was part of her set and it never actually released up until chapter 2 season 6 which was a part of the second ever reboot of friend rewards and this is actually a really good pickaxe i'm not trying to mention like a whole bunch of like bad cosmetics on here because obviously the first one which i mentioned was a pretty bad one this is actually a good one here it, this should have just been an iron shop cosmetic with astro assassin but I really feel like the reason why they couldn't do that was most likely due to the fact that it had the red edit style and for those who don't know what happened Astro Assassin was actually advertised with the red edit style not once but twice one one of the times was with challenges the second time it was with a shop image and like they never released that and I really feel like that may be the reason to why we never saw this pickaxe see the light of day in the item shop which by the way this cosmetic can be released into the item shop I'm just wondering when it will release into the item shop maybe whenever we get that red edit style for astro assassin which may never come out at this point who really knows what's gonna happen but i would really love to see this pickaxe come back because it actually is a really good one in my opinion and it's just so weird that the pickaxe was actually part of a website like it's very odd that they even did that same thing with the next cosmetic here and that is rainbow racer another one of those cosmetics that really should have just been an i am shop skin and it was probably planned to be an i am shop skin but it was actually part of the first ever or technically this would be the third version of reboot a friend as it was called refer a friend the skin was added back in chapter 2 season 6 and they never released it i had item shop bass sets with their her entire set and i remember specifically back in chapter 2 season 7 when the macarena emote came out for the very first time this skin was front and center advertising that emote and we didn't even see that skin release that season either we had to wait until chapter 2 season 8 in order for us to even get this skin released to the public now it's crazy was that the skin i just don't ever see people talking about it anymore i don't don't ever see it anymore i really feel like a lot of people would probably agree with me on this here this was probably originally going to be an iron shop skin but they decide to go against that which is very weird not much else to really say again this should have just been one of those normal iron shop sets that should have released in the iron shop and yeah not much else to really say about this one next i gotta talk about some emotes here within this next section because there are emotes that easily should have just been iron shop emotes instead of them being exclusives and i'm not putting this right here because of recency bias 
but I'm putting this on here because of how lazy it was. And that was the Band Flare pack. This was the most recent PlayStation Plus pack that recently just came out. And my goodness, was this the definition of lazy. They decided to put four random Fortnite festival emotes that have been in the file, some of which at the very beginning of chapter five in this pack, which is just so strange that they even did this. Sure, they are exclusive. I will say that. But does this really scream PlayStation to you all? Because I really feel like I could have just put a lot more playstation like celebration packs on here because so many of them especially as of late have not even been themed around playstation they're just throwing random cosmetics from the files that they have into these packs and just calling it a new pack for a playstation this one is no exception and i really think this one just broke the camel's back for a lot of people especially for those who love to play fortnite festival and, and really love these emotes absolutely stinks that these emotes are even exclusive to begin with and these easily should have just just been I am shop emotes like what were they thinking this was the definition of lazy however this next emote is actually one that was probably going to be an I am shop emote but then was turned into a PS plus exclusive and that was square up this is an emote which I actually think is pretty good however the reason why I'm putting this on this video and why I'm talking about it here is that originally it was going to be an I am shop emote and it actually had a lot of people excited around the time when it was leaked and the reason why was because it was an original emote emote and at the time we were pretty much getting almost nothing but icon emotes during the item shops in general that we were getting back at the end of chapter two and this emote was like a shining light people really wanted this emote to come out into the item shop only for us to get slapped in the face that it was going to be an exclusive to playstation like my goodness they basically just took this emote away from a lot of people which is absolutely sad because this is actually a fantastic emote in my opinion for those who actually do own this one again it's another one of these cosmetics to where it should have just been an item shop cosmetic in general in the item shop that cost B bucks instead of it being tied to a console or in this case PlayStation. Not much else to talk about with this emote. It is a good emote. Wish it was an emote that was a item shop cosmetic, but I digress. Oh, but I really wanted to talk about this one next year. It is a skin that is just so bad that it should have never been an exclusive ever to begin with that is hunt master saber this is a skin that you actually had to go out and get an xbox series s and this was released back all the way in chapter 3 season 4 and nobody talks about this skin and for good reason it's just an awful xbox skin considering that the one that came before this skin which was dark scully was actually well received from the fortnite community at least that could actually be passed off as an exclusive this however has no excuse to be an exclusive skin at all i know he also came with a few other cosmetics as well like a pickaxe and also a wrap which is very interesting to say but this is not an xbox skin this should have just been another one of those v-buck quest pack skins because guess what this is actually a boss from chapter 3 season two aka a storyline character that they decide to put behind a 300 dollars paywall what the hell were they thinking with this this is easily the worst xbox skin in the entire game it makes all the other ones look way better i definitely would pick any of the other ones other than this one i am never getting this skin it is god awful it should have just been a pack skin for like nine dollars or something i don't know now this next cosmetic here is actually gonna be a pretty big hot take here and this is actually the minty axe and for those who don't know who are new to this channel i really am not a fan of this pickaxe i never really got the hype around it i do agree that it looks nice but in my opinion it's a big hot take here i do think that the candy axe is better and it's not a flex to even own this pickaxe because it's extremely popular a lot of people got it when it was out back in 2019 and it was really easy to get all you had to do was go to a to stores that had fortnite products to them and if they have a little codes for this you would actually get a code for the merry mint axe as like an added bonus it would actually wouldn't really cost you much in terms of like this pickaxe here being so popular a lot of people want to get it i could care less if it came back even though i don't own it it's not really appealing to me personally i do think that they should either a just release it into the item shop but i would say the other thing that they should probably do is reopen up this promotion maybe release it once every year around november to christmas whenever somebody goes out and buys a fortnite product at certain stores they get a code for the merry mint tax i think that would be a really cool idea to bring it back and still keep its exclusivity if they were to really want to do that or just flat out release it into the item shop who really knows what the future is for this pickaxe i do hope it does return for those who really want it but who knows what's gonna happen now this last skin here i'm actually kind of a cheating a little bit in this 
this video here but i really wanted to talk about this skin here at some point on the channel more or less more in depth and that is indigo kuno this skin was actually part of a playstation 4 and 5 generations cup back in chapter 2 season 5 the way you got this skin was by actually placing around like the top 3000 from what i can tell because only around 6000 players have this skin by the way so it actually is an extremely rare skin so why am i mentioning it here in this video in a cosmetic list that's exclusive well it's only exclusive to that cup which is very odd considering that i know there's actually quite a bit of people who do want to see this skin come out in some way shape or form i'm not saying for them to release it into the item shop that is not what i'm saying here at all but i actually will say i think they should definitely consider making the skin into a playstation bundle for ps5s think about it i definitely think that would be a really good idea considering that the skin's literally right there ps5s are very easy to get just think of the possibilities of this happening people and i know there's quite a bit of people who do really like this skin even though it is a kuno reskin it is one that i know there are people who are really wanting to get so maybe if they did it in that kind of context that'd be pretty cool to see maybe return in some way shape or form i think that would be a really smart idea for them to do this well, ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's video i really hope you all enjoyed if you did happen to enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel don't forget to check out my twitter akmx account also don't forget to use my support code, code in the fortnite item shop that is middle five that is m-i-n-o-5 thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you remember everyone it's always good to take chances